Hello everyone, it's Diego Doom here. Today I'm bringing you another review. Today I'll be reviewing X Plus Toho 30cm series Yuji Sakai Modeling Collection Godzilla 2001. This version of Godzilla is Yuji Sakai's stylized take on Godzilla as he appeared in the 2001 film Godzilla, Mothra, and King Ghidorah Giant Monsters All Out Attack. In the film, Years after Godzilla's first attack in 1954, the world finds proof of the existence of monsters from different parts of the world. The Japan Self-Defense Force has a concern of Godzilla's possible return after a nuclear submarine is destroyed with sightings of Godzilla's glowing dorsal fins near the wreckage. It is soon revealed that Godzilla has been revived from the dead and is now on a new destructive rampage. Godzilla's remains were revived by the angry spirits of World War II who felt Japan had forgotten their sacrifices and wished to destroy the country. In response to this threat, the legendary guardian monsters, Baragon, Mothra, and King Ghidorah awaken to stop Godzilla and save Japan. Now the newly revived Godzilla must face off against the three legendary monsters in an all-out battle for the fate of Japan. Be sure to check out the 2001 film Godzilla, Mothra, and King Ghidorah Giant Monsters All Out Attack. It is absolutely fantastic. X Plus Toho 30cm series Yuji Sakai Modeling Collection Godzilla 2001 is another superb release in both the 30cm line and the Yuji Sakai Modeling Collection. Godzilla has a superb sculpt and superb paint applications. Before we can enjoy our Godzilla figure, First, we have some minor assembly to complete. This time around, Godzilla's tail comes in one very long piece along with a tail support. To attach the tail, first grab a hair dryer and heat up Godzilla's underside until it's squishy soft. Next, insert the tail into Godzilla's underside. Finally, slide the tail support under the tail to properly balance Godzilla. Now that we have Godzilla fully assembled, let's take a look at Godzilla himself. When it comes to sculpt and paint apps, Godzilla is truly superb. Starting from the top, we have Godzilla's head. The first thing we notice is Godzilla's stunning scales. The scales are individually sculpted with a rough, jagged texture and an asphalt black paint app. These stunning scales can be seen throughout Godzilla's body with different texture variations on certain spots of the body. As we come down, we see Godzilla's large, muscular eyebrows adding to his intense look. The eyes have a smoky white paint app with various scaly creases and folds around the eyes. Godzilla's snarling snout is very nicely detailed with more scaly creases and folds. The mouth is very nicely detailed. The teeth are individually sculpted with a very nice sharp sculpt and a bone paint app. The inner mouth tongue, and gums are very nicely textured and detailed with a dark blood red paint app. The chest and arms have a nice scaly muscular sculpt. In the chest, the scales flow a varied finer pattern that looks natural and very cool. The scales on the arms also have a slightly different scaly pattern. The claws have a nice sharp and worn sculpt with a smoky gray paint app. The legs have a nice large scaly muscular sculpt with various creases and folds. We can see the scales begin to vary again on the thighs and knees. The feet have a very nice large detailed sculpt with the scales continuing. The toenails have a large, worn, and sharp sculpt with the same smoky gray paint app as the claws. Spin around to the back, we have Godzilla's dorsal fins that look fantastic. At the top, the fins start small and become larger as we go down the back. The dorsal fins have a smoke gray paint app at the top that transitions down to a dark charcoal gray paint app as we reach the base. As we come down the back, the dorsal fins become gradually smaller as we reach the tail. The tail has a nice scaly textured sculpt. We can see the various skin segmentations that make up the tail. The dorsal fins on the top of the tail become even smaller and taper off as we reach the end of the tail. On the underside of the tail, we can see some slightly smoother scaly details. As a whole, Godzilla looks truly superb. I really love Yuji Sakai's take on the 2001 suit. The sculpt and paint apps are very well done. Sakai's stylized take on Godzilla has a very ferocious and menacing look. I think this version looks way better than the normal 30cm Godzilla 2001 release.
This figure is another superb addition to the Yuji Sakai modeling collection and my growing X Plus collection. Now, let's take a look at Godzilla's pose. Godzilla is in a menacing, ready for action pose, and I think it looks fantastic. Godzilla stands roughly 11 inches tall, 9 inches depth wise, and 13 and a half inches width wise since his tail is outstretched to the side. Godzilla's pose looks fantastic from basically any angle, and he's really fun to photograph. This time around, Godzilla is a shelf hog width-wise instead of depth-wise. Be prepared to clear out some horizontal space to fit him into your collection. Now, let's do some size comparisons. To conclude the review, X Plus Toho 30cm series Yuji Sakai Modeling Collection Godzilla 2001 is another superb release in both the 30cm line and the Yuji Sakai Modeling Collection. Godzilla has a superb sculpt and superb paint applications. This figure is definitely very nice, very neat, and very cool. I absolutely recommend picking this figure up. Pick him up now before his price skyrockets. Be sure to check out the 2001 film Godzilla, Mothra, and King Ghidorah, Giant Monsters All Out Attack. It is absolutely fantastic. This has been another review by Diego Doom. Thank you very much for watching, and please stay tuned for more figure reviews. Check out the Facebook fan page, add me on Jimmer, and follow me on Instagram. Like comment, and subscribe.